Hello, Georgina here, and welcome to Free Reading Wednesday, where you can see real readings for real querents. This week's querent is Loner in Alabama, who is concerned about a career change, and she writes, A little over a year ago, I began my journey to obtain my real estate license. In mid-November of 2021, I was able to pass the class, pass the state test, and as of today, hold my salesperson license. My question is this, was this the right choice? I would love to have a career that would have a better flexibility on my schedule because my partner and I would love to adopt again, this time a much younger child. I have put some financial stress on us with all of the fees that I needed to pay. How will real estate work out for me? Do I need to stop now before I invest any more time and money? Or do I push forward? Loner also mentions that she currently has a job in retail management. So the core question here is about making the switch to another profession. Two paths are possible here, stay in retail management or push forward into real estate. To examine these possibilities, I've selected the job spread from Power Tarot by Trish McGregor and Phyllis Vega. It's a large spread, so I'm using the Teeny Tiny Tarot by Holly Audley to save space. The job space has 11 positions that form an L. Position one is what you want for yourself. And the card here is Three of Swords, suggesting that Loner has already undergone difficulties at her current retail job, as well as during the process of obtaining her real estate license. Her heart doesn't seem to be fully invested in either career, though. Position two, who or what will help? This card goes beneath the first one, and it is Seven of Cups Reversed. This card is one of dreams and desires. Reversed, it suggests that more effort will be required to help make one's dreams a reality. Position three, what you should focus on. This card goes to the lower center of the spread, and it is Queen of Cups. This indicates that loner should focus on her emotional needs and determine what it is she really desires. The Queen of Cups is often seen as the card of motherhood, so the cards may be referring to her current child or the one that she hopes to adopt. Position four, the turning point, the event that changes things. This card goes below the one in position three, below the Queen of Cups, and it is 10 of Wands. This is the card of being overworked, having a considerable burden. In the teeny tiny tarot, this concept is illustrated with a pair of hands that can barely contain all of the sticks in them. Loner may be asked to do even more work than she does currently at her retail job. Position five, a new possible direction in employment or work. This card goes to the left of the one in position four, left of the Ten of Wands, and it is Eight of Swords. Ooh. If you are familiar with this card in the Rider-Waite-Smith tradition, you may recall that the figure on the card is completely bound. Their movement is seriously restricted. So this card suggests that there is unlikely to be a new direction in employment or work for loner. In the teeny tiny tarot, this is suggested by how the needles are embedded in the palm of the hand. It's not that they cannot be removed, they can, but there will be pain and blood. There are drops of blood at the bottom of this card. Position six, a synchronistic signal an important event on this new path that you'll recognize when it happens. The previous two cards were quite challenging, so I'm looking forward to what will indicate a new path for loner. And the card here is 
Eight of Pentacles reversed. Another eight. Interesting. It is a pentacle card, the first one to appear in the reading, and I associate this suit with working in real estate. But it is reversed, which suggests that Loner has yet to apply her newly applied skills in the real estate career. As more restrictions and burdens are placed on Loner at her retail management job, cards at positions four and five, striking out on her own in real estate may start to look more appealing even if she doesn't have full confidence in her skills yet. Position seven, ultimate attainment on this path. And if Loner does leave retail management to pursue a career in real estate, what can she hope to attain on that path? The card here is nine of cups. Oh, there we go. Now, nine of cups is the wish card provided that she commits to doing the necessary work, that Seven of Cups is above that wish card. Now, one of the things I like about this spread is that it offers other possibilities. So, position eight, a second possible direction. This card goes to the right of one in position four, to the right of this Ten of Wands. And the card here is Two of Wands, reversed. This card suggests hesitancy to build new partnerships, even if they may help her career or some other enterprise. So, moving on to position nine, a synchronistic signal, an important event on this path that you will recognize when it happens. This card goes to the far right of the spread, beside position eight, and it is the Hermit. This is the first major arcana card to appear in the reading, so that makes it important. This card suggests a period of self-reflection, a period of time where Loner can reevaluate her goals and make priorities. Position 10, the ultimate achievement on this second path. This card goes above position 9, above that hermit card, and it is the Lovers Reversed. This is the second major arcana card in the spread. This card has two meanings. On one level, it may indicate a disconnect or separation between loner and her partner, her lover. On another, it may signify that loners had a long delay in making a decisive decision about her career. Either way, the reversal suggests that this path poses some challenges. And since it is a major arcana card, it is very likely that unless Loner makes a decision one way or the other, strong outside forces may make the decision for her, and that might not result in an outcome that she likes. Which leads us to position 11, what you need to know to choose the direction that suits you. This card goes above the card in position one, which was that Three of Swords we started with at the beginning of the reading. And it is the Ten of Swords, the card of ruin. What Loner needs to know is that if she does not make a decision one way or the other, she may lose the option to choose at all. These last two cards offer an important lesson for us as tarot readers. How can we be good, kind, and awesome cartomancers when a reading seems so dour? Well, this is a reminder that the tarot always tells the querent what they need to know, not necessarily what they want to hear. The cards never guarantee success or a fatalistic doom. They can only indicate possibilities for the querent to consider. And even though we set our intentions with this spread to find out about Loner's potential career paths, the tarot felt that it was more important to offer advice. That advice being, one, that Loner think deeply, Queen of Cups, about what she really wants. It may not be either of the careers she mentioned. 
she may be more interested in motherhood and adoption. And a period of self-reflection may reveal more clarity about these issues, the hermit card here. Two, that loner share her thoughts and feelings about these choices with her partner. The lovers indicate choices and partners. And lastly, three, for the next 10 weeks, perhaps less by the time this video is published, is a crucial period for making a decision about these issues. Ten of Swords indicates weeks in my method. Now, although there were no easy answers here, I hope that this reading was useful to you, loner. Change, even when it's welcomed, always poses some challenges. Just know that I am rooting for you. And this concludes this week's Free Reading Wednesday. If you would like your question to be considered for a future video on Free Reading Wednesday, write me at the address listed in the video description. Be sure that you read and understand the fine print. Interested in exploring new tarot spreads and seeing tarot readings in action? Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and when you do, be sure to click the bell icon and set notifications to all. That way, you'll be notified whenever new videos are posted. And to watch this or other videos of mine early and without ads, check out my channel on Vimeo. Link in the description. Until next time, remember, the magic is not in the cards. The magic is in you. So be good, be kind, and as always, be awesome.